And it's India's shame, the reality of bonded labor in India decades after it was abolished. 80 people, many of them women and children, have been rescued today at a raid at a brick kiln in UP, where they were being kept under bondage. Every day since Diwali, this brick kiln in Mirzapur in eastern UP has been like a prison for Sunita Devi and her six children. Their nightmare began when they took an advance in the village from a middleman in lieu of which they had to work at this brick kiln. How much advance did you get? 50,000. Since then, they were made to work long, brutal hours. She and her husband made these bricks while her little children loaded the materials, often working more than 10 hours a day. For living quarters, they were given the cramped space of a shed. How many people in your family? Eight people. Eight people live in this house? Yes. They come to the water, they feel very cold in the night. The nightmare for her and for 21 families, all from Gaya in Bihar, ended when the kiln was raided by activists and the labor department. These people are working in the lieu of advance, the first thing. Second thing is that these people are not paid the minimum wages. And third thing is that they cannot leave the kiln. It means that they, they do not have any choice or alternatives to choose their employer. So these three conditions basically prove in their bonded labor. The owner of the kiln denies the allegations. The Labour Department says it will take action against the owner after completing investigation. As we look at this whole process, what is happening here and what is happening here, we take out the records, we take out the statements, we take out the statements, we take out the statements, we take out the minimum wages, we take out the provisions of the minimum wages, Ironically, these families are from the Musahar community, the same as Bihar Chief Minister Jitain Manji, but poverty is forcing hundreds of such people into bondage. The government will not give up the other work. They are hungry, they are hungry, they are hungry. The government feels that the government will be studying in Bihar, so we will go. The horror that these families face here doesn't, of course, end with this rescue. An uncertain future, abject poverty and large debt traps await them in their villages back in Bihar, of which there is no easy way out. With camera person Rajesh Gupta in Mirzapur, Neha Masih for NDTV.